if you live in Oregon City because they need to pick a new mayor. You may remember what happened last year. Mayor Dan Holliday stirred up a bit of controversy. First in April, when the state shut down because of the pandemic, Holliday considered issuing a declaration to reopen businesses in his city. The state attorney general didn't like this at all, wasn't very happy, threatened civil or even criminal action against him unless he backed off. Then in June, in the thick of the George Floyd protests, Holliday got a lot of backlash for some social Social media posts that he made. One downplayed police brutality against black people, calling it, quote, hardly an epidemic. In another, he asked why there could be protests, riots, looting, and vandalism in Portland, but no 4th of July fireworks in smaller towns. A group then started circulating a recall petition to get rid of him, and they actually got enough signatures to get it on the ballot. And in November, voters decided to give him the axe. So next week, there's a special election to fill his seat. And if you live in Oregon City, you should already have your ballot right now. Actually, they're going to be due back next Tuesday, March 9th. So get on that. Here are the candidates. Rachel Lyles Smith, a current Oregon City commissioner. Damon Maybe, a former Oregon City commissioner. He might win, maybe. <laughs> OK, Alex Josephy who's held some positions in the state Democratic Party, and Leslie Wright Jr., a small business owner. Again, the election is happening next Tuesday. We just got the numbers back. Only 15% of the ballots have been returned so far. So let's go, Oregon City. Get on it. Every vote counts, especially when only 15% of people are voting. So uh, vote, and we'll let you know who gets elected and why that matters.